Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Before I jump straight to the problem, I want to remind you of the free resources that I have. Number one, I have a guide named How to Evaluate Your Education in the United States of America. Number two, another guide about Shear Moment Diagram, which has a solved example and then a few examples that I have collected from various FU materials. If this sounds something that you might need, click the links below and you'll be able to download them for free. Now let's move on with our example. The equation of a circle is given. What is the center and radius? Let me quickly go to FE handbook and look for the standard circle equation. I'll type circle and it takes us here and we're given this equation. And what it says is the center at H and K and the radius R. So what we have to do in our problem is to take our equation and bring it to this form. And then it will be clear where we have the center at A, J, K and the radius R. Well, let me write this formula down here. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. In our case, let's also bring the six on the other side. So we'll have two X squared plus eight X plus two Y squared plus 12Y equals to six. And you notice we can divide this by two, and this will result in X squared plus four X plus Y squared plus six Y equals to three. All right. I wanna point something here as well to make th things even clearer. Let me write this down. When we have x minus h squared, this means that this equals to the formula says, and I believe you can find this formula into the FE handbook, but it equals to x squared plus h squared minus 2x h. And then x plus h equals to x squared plus h squared, and notice here, plus 2xh. All right, so what I wanted to point out here, the only difference in these formulas is then if we have minus here, that means that this term is negative. And if we have plus here, this term is positive, meaning everything in the equation is plus. So let's go back here to our initial equation and I will divide our X terms and let's try and build one of these equations and see which one it is. I will go down here and so let's see, we have X squared, right? That means this is our first term and we have four X. Since we don't have anything squ squared, we have four X, so we have the two from the formula. The formula gives us a two, and then we have the X, and then we have another two, two times two equals four. This means that our age equals two, two, right? And this term is positive, which means that my equation is going to look, sorry, this is squared. It's going to look like this, okay? So let me, so in order for me to build this formula, I have to add here a h squared, which will be, in our case, we'll figure out the h is going to, it's two. So I have to add a two squared or four. And remember, when we add something on one side of the equation or the equal sign, we have to also add that on the other side of the equal sign. So 
Let me write this down again. So I'll have x squared plus 2 squared plus 4x. So these two, we have them. We just added the 2 squared, which is 4, which means if I'm going to write equals, I'm going to just add here 3, and I'm going to also add 2 squared because I have to add them on both sides of the equal sign. So now let's move on to our y components and let's see which terms do we have and which do we have to add. So I'm going to go here and again we have y squared and then we have 6y. We don't have anything squared so I will jump to this term. We have plus 6y which I am going to write down the two that comes from the formula. I'm going to write down the y and then the three, two times three is six, meaning that the k from this formula, k, right, equals to three. So now that we know that, let's come here and we need to add a k squared, and this is gonna be a three squared. So in order to form this part of the equation, I had to add a three squared. And if I add a three squared on one side of the equation, I'm gonna have to add it on this side. So I'm gonna add three squared on this side. And another thing is notice how this term is positive, that means that my equation is gonna look like this. It's gonna be positive. So let's continue this. I will add y squared plus three squared plus, we have two times three, six y equals to three plus two squared plus three squared. And now let's form our, the formulas. Let's form our equation. We're gonna have x, plus two, as we discussed, squared, right? And it is plus, we already discussed that, y. Hopefully it is clear for you. Let me know in the comments below. And then we have plus, and this is the formula for x plus three squared equals to, and let's see over here we have we have three plus four plus nine equals 16. So it equals 16, but if we want to match this equation, I would write it as four squared. So I'm going to write this as four squared. So now if you pay attention to the original circle equation given in the FU handbook, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. In our case, our h and k, the center of the circle is going to be minus two and minus three. And then the radius, of the circle is going to be four. And the answer is A. That's it for today. It was not a complicated problem at all. If you have any questions about this problem, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe because this helps people like you find me. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.